Hey guys, it is Robin the Lady Biker. How is everyone today? Well, I am out today with my honey. There's Allie. Hello. <laughs> and we are out today doing something for the first time because we thought we'd get out and just have a lunch date. It's a Sunday. And we realized something when we were planning our route. And we thought that we'd share and ask the question of, do you ride a road both ways or do you tend to just ride one direction? So we'll talk about that. Hey guys, so, all right, so today, to follow up, Allie and I are out because we wanted to go to one of our favorite local burger joints that's, well, whenever you're a biker, you know, locals, anything within a hundred mile ride, <laughs> or at least it is for us. And there, uh, there are several really good burger places out here, but one of our favorites is Charlie's Restaurant in Los Alamos, California. And it's just, it's in a great spot. It's got plenty of fun roads to and from it. So we thought, okay, we get out today. And as I was planning the route, I realized we always have ridden this route up Highway 154, and then you'd take a little jog on Highway 1, or 101, to get to Charlie's. And then we would come, we'd go up this really great road called Harris Grade, and then come down Highway 1, which is what we're on, back to 101 and back into town. And I realized we'd never ridden it the reverse direction. And so we thought, okay, well, let's take the opportunity to do this. Because over our travels the last three years on our motorcycles, we've come to find that some of our favorite roads whenever you ride them one direction and then turn around and ride it the other it's almost like two completely different experiences or at least that's what we have found uh, perfect example uh, highway one along the central coast of california through big sur we've ridden it we rode it one year going south to north and just thought it was amazing and it was stunning but it limited our ability because I think we did that on a weekend, but it limited our, our ability to get onto pullouts to take pictures and see the ocean and all that. But then the next year we rode it from north to south and it was like a completely different ride. It was so different and so beautiful and so amazing. And, uh, so it was really kind of neat because it made, even though it was the same trip, because we turned directions, it was like two completely different experiences. Uh, another one that we do is our local, we go up 101 and then we come back down 154. And sometimes we'll catch some of the back roads, sometimes we won't, it just depends on our timing. But riding up 154 we get all the curves and everything and and it's fun to take those going uphill and see all the mountain views and crest the the san marcos pass and it's just beautiful to look across the valley and then coming down into gaviota and then back down 101 is such a just a beautiful ride but when we flip it and ride the other direction we get even more ocean views I think it is riding up 101 and then it's gorgeous even though we miss seeing the valley in one perspective when we crest the pass and we look out onto the ocean in Santa Barbara on as we work our way down the the mountainside that is such a unique experience as well so it's like two completely different roads and one year whenever we went riding and I think it was one of my early early videos on one of our uh, Pacific Coast Highway trips, uh, we found a little back road. Very same experience. We rode it one got north one day, and like a day or two later, we rode it south. And it was so neat to see the two different perspectives. So today, we decided that we would ride 
the route that we're doing, we'd always ridden it counterclockwise. So today we're riding it clockwise. And I almost never go north on this section of Highway 1. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like little barns that I've never seen before and vistas like this that are usually behind us. So it's kind of nice to see it from two different directions. And uh, another one that I think I want to do soon, honey, because it's the same thing with our 3358-101 loop. We always ride it counterclockwise. I don't think we've ever ridden it clockwise, have we? No, I don't recall doing that. I don't think we have. So we'll have to put that on our one of our weekend runs. Of course, that one's a little longer. That's a little over 300 mile day, but so anyway, guys, that leads me to the question. Have y'all, those of you out there that ride or who love to take car trips, have you ever noticed that, that the views riding one direction on a road and the views riding the other direction on a road are completely different and they're unique? Have you ever noticed that? And if you have, or if you, great, share some of your favorite ones with us. But if you haven't, are you someone that typically rides a road or especially a loop the same direction every time? And if you are, why? What, what about going that direction appeals to you so much? So with that, guys, that's about it for, that I have for today. I thought we would just get out and share a little bit of our trip right now and some of the views here on Highway 1 and... Uh, we're going to go find us some really great food and spend some time just enjoying and having a lunch date. So, oh, oh, that's not good. Someone had some roadkill there. That would have been dangerous. Um, so with that, guys, when you get out and ride, have fun, but definitely be safe. Keep the head on the swivel. And uh, Allie and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye, guys.